Hello bird fanciers and welcome again to Gloucester City. Today we are going to talk about molting. Now this is a very delicate subject because it entails the shedding of old feathers and the growing of new ones in our canaries. What I'm going to do for the sake of beginners is touch base on the four basic stages of this process and then later on move on to the maintenance in my bird room and how I handle this delicate period. Okay, let's do this. Many bird fanciers think that the molting starts when our canaries start to shed the feathers. Now, there's a little bit more to it. There's an earlier stage, which is called the pre-molting stage. A few weeks before the first feathers start to fall, canaries start to show signs of restlessness or changes in behavior. At this point, there is what we call a physiological preparation. This is the stage where the bird's body begins to redirect nutrients and energy towards feather regeneration. The second stage is the shedding stage. Now this process takes a few weeks to complete and it usually begins with the loss of feathers in the head, then the neck, followed by the body feathers and finally the wings and the tail feathers. This period is disliked by many fanciers due to the visual condition of the birds and the excessive number of loose feathers around the room. The third stage is the regrowth stage. After a couple of months of shedding, new pin feathers start emerging. These pin feathers are protected in a form of cable. This is what we call the keratin sheet, which will eventually break off as the feather grows. During this stage, some birds might look scruffier and their feathers might appear uneven. This is a very delicate stage, as the bird's energy level might decrease and it may also become inactive. The fourth stage is the completion stage. At this point, all the feathers are fully grown and the canary starts to regain its normal appearance and behavior. The bird might preen more often to remove any remaining keratin and to condition the new feathers. As I mentioned during the four stages of molting, the words stress and restlessness were mentioned a couple of times. And this is why we must take great care of our canaries during this delicate period. With the aid of proper nutrition and complementary supplements, we can ease this restlessness and stress in our birds during this time. To start off, molting is controlled by hormonal changes, changes in temperature and daylight, in our canaries. These hormonal changes also help synchronize molting with other biological processes. So the first thing I do in the pre-molting stage is to reduce the UV light in the bird room and bring the daylight time below 12 hours gradually. The second thing I do is serve baths on a regular basis to help the birds manage the discomfort associated with new feather growth. To stimulate the down molt, twice a week, with every liter of drinking water, I serve 10 milliliters of Cetracol. This product, which is produced by Travi Pharma, is unique and I found it to be a super investment in my canaries. It can be used on all birds of all ages at any given time of the year. You can look it up on zoo.mt and see how many more benefits it has other than just during the molting. It is important, however, to change the water on a daily basis. The next thing I like to do is to provide a high quality diet rich in vitamins, minerals and proteins. This will help feather growth. Supplements like egg food should not stop after breeding season. During this period, it is crucial that we continue serving soft food all through the malt. For the young birds, I found that by switching from the classic CD egg food to CD morbido egg paste, most of high-grade proteins, vitamins and amino acids are all covered in this one product, which makes it convenient, especially for those who, like me, have to rush to work early in the morning and will return late in the afternoon. As for the older birds, especially the hens, I usually continue with the classic CD soft food, and I also like to serve them with one milliliter of calciferol 
with every liter of drinking water, once a week. We must remember that hens are coming out of the breeding season, and we must replenish their calcium levels so that they will be able to go through the molt successfully. All right, bird fanciers, that wraps up today's discussion about molting. Remember, molting is a crucial and natural process in our birds, and with the right care and attention, we can ensure that our birds remain healthy and vibrant throughout this delicate period. From adjusting the environment to providing the right nutrition, every step counts in making this transition as smooth as possible for our canaries. Thank you for joining me again on Gloucester City. If you have any questions, comments, tips or anything you'd like to share, please feel free to write in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when I share my next video.